Πάμε να μιλήσουμε για Άρη με έναν νομίζω από τους πιο αγαπητούς παίχτες που έχουν περάσει από τον Άρη τα τελευταία χρόνια. Δεν κάθεσε πολύ, αλλά μπήκε στην καρδιά του κόσμου. Ο λόγος φυσικά για τον James Τζέγκο, τον οποίο πάμε να καλησπερίσουμε. Jimmy, hello from Thessaloniki. Hello, how is everyone? You miss the city already or not? Yes, yes, of course. I think my wife missed the city more than me, but yes, we miss, we miss a lot. Το ρωτήσαμε αν ε, του λείπει πολύ. Η γυναίκα μου λέει περισσότερο ότι τη λείπει, αλλά σίγουρα και, και εμένα. Ε, Jimmy, uh, the main reason we called you is uh, about uh, to give us some information since you live in Belgium for uh, uh, the past uh, the, two, the last two months. Um, but uh, I want to start from uh, because many the things that I was saying before uh, greeting you is that uh, even though you played for Aris uh, for one year and a half uh, the fans uh, love you very much like you played here for five or six years and um, it was a little sudden uh, to see you leave for another team yeah yeah it was it it it, it all happened quite quickly and uh, yeah it wasn't it wasn't an easy decision at all um, you know I absolutely loved my my time in Aris Um, the 18 months were were really special, um, and it's it's a club that I'll always hold hold dear to my heart. Um, it was it was one of those moves where it happened quite quickly, and it sort of worked out to be a good situation for the club and a, and a good situation for me. Um, and yeah, look, it wasn't it wasn't one of those things um, that I didn't want to stay at Aris or. Or something like that, but just sometimes the, the situation, the way it was at the club and with me in my career, it was something that I think was in the, the best decision for me. And, and unfortunately, yeah, I had to leave. But um, but it doesn't take away from from how much I enjoyed my time there. Τον ρωτήσαμε για την αποχώρησή του από τον Άρη τον περασμένο Ιανουάριο. Πολύ, πολύ απότομα και στα μάτια του κόσμου, πολύ ξαφνικό να φύγει ο Τζέγκο και να πάει στην, στην ΕΟΠΕΝ. Όλα έγινα πολύ καιρό, όπω μα είπε, δεν ήταν εύκολα. Ε, αγάπησα του 18 μήνε που ήμουνα στον Άρη και θα τον έχω πάντα στην καρδιά μου. Ε, ήταν μια καλή συμφωνία και για το κλαμπ αλλά και για μένα. Ε, δεν ήταν ότι ήθελα να φύγω από τον Άρη σε καμία περίπτωση, αλλά κάποια στιγμή κάποια πράγματα ε, πρέπει να, να γίνονται και πάντα θα, θα έχω τον Άρη μέσα στην, στην καρδιά μου. Uh, I don't know if you still watch uh, the games uh, of Aris. Uh, since you left, uh, we had many uh, new faces. Uh, the coach changed. Uh, Mr. Burgos uh, came in, and Aris uh, now is in the playoffs. Yeah, no, I've, uh, I've I keep in contact with a lot of the boys. I still speak. A lot of the boys, and I've watched. I've watched some of the games. Um, well, I've, I've watched some of the games. Um, sorry, that's just my daughter. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. Um, I've watched. Yeah, I've watched some of the games, mm -hmm. and I keep in contact with the boys. And I'm, I'm obviously really happy that they got the six points back, um, and that they're in the playoffs. And I think they have a really good chance to now to qualify for for Europe, which is always uh, the big goal of the club. Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε για το αν παρακολουθεί τι εξελίξει του Νάρη, γιατί ήταν και πολλέ το διάστημα που, που λείπει από την ομάδα. Κρατάω επαφή με, με πολλά από τα παιδιά στην, στην ομάδα, βλέπω και τα, κάποια από τα μάτ. Είμαι πολύ χαρούμενο και για την πορεία τη ομάδα και για το συν 6 και για την παρουσία τη στα playoff. Και έχει τώρα την ευκαιρία να διεκδικήσει ένα ευρωπαϊκό εισιτήριο. Ε, Jimmy, how hard was it for you playing with, without these six points psychologically? Because uh, I believe yeah, that Enerva I... thinks that uh, it was a big pressure for you from the beginning of the season. Yeah, no, I I completely agree. I think I think for, for the players it's it's never it's never easy. But I think also from from the outside, I think it put the club under a lot of pressure. When I think back to the first two games of the season, where we lost to Ioniakos and and drew at home. Mm -hmm. I, when I <laughs> yeah, when I think when I think back to these two games, look, it was a, it was a very bad start for the season, but it was made it was made into a very big deal because of the. Uh... Okay, Turkey, go get the dummy. Sorry, go get the dummy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, go get your dummy. It's there. Uh, it was made into a very big deal from 
from the outside and this affected because then was a lot of criticism around the team and a lot of outside influence that I definitely think affected the team. We felt a lot of pressure to pick up mm -hmm. more points quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, look, it wasn't it wasn't ideal. Um, but as, as a team, we, we you know we got told that there was always a good chance that we would get the minus six points back, and our focus was to do what we normally do and and to to get as many points as possible. And, and we looked at the table as if we still had these these six points. But I think definitely at the start of the season, it, mm -hmm. it had an effect on the team. Τον ρωτήσαμε τον, τον Τζίμι για το πόσο εύκολο ήταν, πόσο δύσκολο βασικά ήταν να ξεκινήσουν τη σεζόν και να πορευτούν σε αυτήν χωρί του 6 βαθμού. Ε, δεν ήταν εύκολο, ήταν πολύ δύσκολο, υπήρχε πολύ μεγάλη πίεση. Ειδικά στα πρώτα παιχνίδια που βγάλουμε την Σοπαλέ με τον Όφη και χάσαμε από τον Ιωνικό. Ήταν μεγάλη υπόθεση ε, για το κλαμπ ε, και για μα εννοείται. Επηρεάζει την ομάδα, ασκεί και μια άλλη κριτική. Ε, δημιουργεί και μια άλλη κριτική στην, ε, στην ομάδα. Ξεκινήσαμε το λογική ότι πρέπει να μαζέψουμε όσου περισσότερου βαθμού ε, γίνεται και δεν ήταν σίγουρα ε, καθόλου ιδανική ε, η κατάσταση. Ε, how do you see the change at the bench? Ε, Mr. Madius, ε, you know him very well, ε, left the club and ε, Mr. Burgos came in. Yeah, I think, uh, look, first of all, I think it, uh, Mr. Antios did such a good job with us. Um, you know, he obviously came in in, in difficult circumstances. And he did such a good job with us at the at the start of the season. And I think the, that first season that we had, I was a little bit disappointing at, that we couldn't. I felt we could really do more with the way we were playing and, and the team we had. Um, but I just think the whole situation, the start of this season, we had a lot of new players come in, which obviously affected the team. And with the minus six points, and sometimes it's not necessarily the, the fault of the coach, but sometimes a change can can do a club a lot of can be really positive for the club and I think I think that's been the case with the, with the new manager coming in you know I've spoken to the boys and they speak really highly of him and that's the most in, the most important thing is that the club is successful and you know sometimes tough decisions have to be made but I think it should take nothing away from what we achieved under under Mr Mantios in the first season mm -hmm. Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε για την αλλαγή στον πάγκο τη ομάδα ε, και την αποχώρηση του Ακυμάτζη, τον οποίο δούλεψε και αυτό και τον γνωρίζει αρκετά καλά. Έκανε πολύ καλή δουλειά στην ομάδα, ήρθε σε, κάτω από πολύ δύσκολε συνθήκε, ε, εννοώντα τον αποκλεισμό από την Ευρώπη ε, την ε, περσινή σεζόν. Ε, Φέτο ήταν ε, ε, η όλη κατάσταση, πολλοί νέοι παίχτε, ε, οι έξι βαθμοί που μα πήραν. Δεν είναι πάντα ευθύνη του προπονητή ε, η πορεία μια ε, ομάδα. Ε, ε, αλλά κάποιε φορέ είναι αυτό που αλλάζει κιόλα ε, για να αλλάξουν και κάποια πράγματα στην ομάδα. Πάντω ε, όλα τα παιδιά μιλούν με τα καλύτερα λόγια για τον, ε, για τον κύριο Μάτζιο. Ε, Jimmy, now we want you to help us because you live in Belgium. And, ε, Um, tell us uh, how uh, the Belgian press or uh, you, your teammates, uh, other clubs uh, saw the defeat of uh, Gent from Pauk last week and what they say uh, two days uh, before this uh, uh, big game next Thursday for the Conference League. <laughs> yeah, look, to be honest, I don't, I don't read too much of the, mm -hmm. the media and And see too much was it a surprise for uh, the Belgians this uh, this defeat? Um, no, look, I think I think they have a lot of respect for. I think throughout throughout Europe, a lot of people have a lot of respect for the the big clubs in Greece. Um, I think everyone everyone knows your Olympiakos, Panathinaikos, Paul, Ares. Everyone knows of these teams and and knows they have they have very good players and and this type of thing. So I think. I think they knew it would be a very difficult game. I think I watched a little bit of the game, a little bit of the second half, um, and yeah, look, it, it was a very, it was a close game, and it, and it could have gone in both in both directions. Um, but I think it's a, it's a it, it will be a very even game. The second game, I think, um, it's an interesting. It's the the differences I see between the Greek and Belgium league. You see you see it also in these in this game between Polk and Ghent. Um, and yeah, it will be really interesting to see who who comes out who comes out on top. 
Το ρωτήσαμε για το πώ υποδέχτηκαν στο Βέλγιο την ήττα τη Γάνδη από τον Μπάουκ την ε, περασμένη εβδομάδα. Ε, και αν τους, ε, το θεώρησαν ω έκπληξη, ε, λέει όχι, λέει, γιατί υπάρχει σεβασμό για όλε τι μεγάλε ε, ομάδε τη Ελλάδα στο εξωτερικό, για τον Πάουκ, τον Ολυμπιακό, τον Άρη, την ΑΕΚ, τον ε, Παναθακό. Ε, ε, ήξεραν ότι θα είναι ένα δύσκολο παιχνίδι. Είδα κάποια κομμάτια το δεύτερο ε, ημίχρονο και είδα ότι ένα παιχνίδι το οποίο θα κρινόταν στι λεπτομέρειε, όπω πιστεύω θα κρυθεί στι λεπτομέρειε και ο αγώνα τη ε, επόμενη ε, πέμπτη. Ε, Πάουκ will play. Α, James, uh, you played uh, against Ghent in uh, February, I think. You lost uh, one yeah. nil. Uh, you played against Pauk. Uh, do you think that uh, there is a favorite for the qualification between the two teams? Look, I think I think uh, obviously Pauk being one nil, Pauk being one nil out up is a is a massive uh, is a mass, massive advantage for them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it will be a different. I think it will be a different game in in Belgium. I think the the fans and and the atmosphere in Greece certainly will, would have helped Polk in the first game. Um, and I think, yeah, look, I think Polk are in a, a very strong position. They have quality players. They 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 can sit on the lead and and look to break and and get one more goal. But I think you know Ghent will come. They're a very intense team. They're a very physical team. Um, and I think at home they will really want to press Polk and and put them under a lot, lot of pressure. And Polk will need to need to be able to stand up to that. So I think that will be that will be the big question about about the game. Is I think Ghent will really come out and, and be aggressive. And if Polk can can match that and and play football and create chances to to get that second goal. Ε, τον ρώτησε ο Στέλιο για επειδή έχει αντιμετωπίσει την Γάνδη ήδη ο Τζεγκό παίχτη τη Έουπεν. Ε, τη γνώμη του και το πώ την είδε κιόλα. Ε, ο Τζίμι είπε ότι ο Πάοκ είναι ποιοτική ομάδα, έχει ποιοτικού παίχτε. Η Γάνδη σε αυτό το παιχνίδι θα μπει και θα πιέσει. Είναι μια ε, ομάδα ε, καλή σε κομμάτι τη φυσική κατάσταση. Θα πιέσει πολύ τον Πάοκ από το ξεκίνημα. Οπότε ο Πάοκ θα πρέπει να προσπαθήσει να ανταπεξέλθει ε, σε αυτό το στυλ παιχνιδιού και να δημιουργήσει ευκαιρίε για, για να φτάσει στο. Στο goal. Και χαρακτήρισε τεράστιο επί τη λέξη massive για το ε, προβάθμα του ΠΑΟΚ ναι, το τέρμα του και αυτό, και αυτό. Ε, το 1-0 ε, James, ε, you are a teammate with the, ε, Γιάννης Κωνσταντέλιας a player that belongs ε, to ΠΑΟΚ What's your opinion about him? Um, yeah, he's a, he's a very, very talented young player he, he has a lot of quality with the ball um, He's very good in 1v1 situations um, And I think this, I think this little period for him to come to Belgium will will help him help him a lot. I think it's very the league very intense here. It's very physical. Um, mm. You don't get much time on the ball, and I think these are all things as a young player that will be will be really good for him. And also, you know, coming away from Greece, being in a different environment. Um, I know the coaches here are working really hard with him on certain parts of his game, but he has a lot of a lot of talent and a lot of ability. Um, And he's a very good kid as well. So it's been nice to have someone who I can speak speak about with Greek football <laughs> yes. and, and yeah. And speak Greek too. Did you learn any words here? Yeah, or? a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yes, a little bit, a little bit. We say Kalimera every morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, and tika. these types of things, so it's nice. And the other word with uh, the, the three A's <laughs> inside. Το συνεργάτη σα τελείωσε τον Τζίμι για τον Κωνσταντέλια, ο οποίο αγωνίζεται στην Open. Ο Τζίμι μα είπε ότι είναι ταλαντούχο, πολύ ταλαντούχο. Έχει ποιότητα με την μπάλα στα πόδια. Θα τον βοηθήσει η παρουσία του στο Βέλγιο σε ένα πρωτάθλημα τόσο φυσικά, αλλά τόσο γρήγορο. Οι προπονητέ δουλεύουν πολύ μαζί του για να βελτιώσουν κομμάτια του παιχνιδιού του και είναι και ένα πάρα πολύ καλό παιδί. Και χαίρομαι που τον έχω εδώ πέρα για να μπορούμε να μιλάμε λίγο για την Ελλάδα και λίγα ελληνικά. Um, uh, Jimmy would like to thank you. I don't know if you want to say something to the fans of Aris uh, who hear you right now and already miss you. But uh, as you can see, uh, Matija is uh, is like he's playing like he's 25 years old in the last games, 25, 24 years old. Besides, he's 33 now. Yeah, no. Look, this is this is a thing. This is what I I said. I was speaking with Sasha the other day and. You know the quality, even when I was there, and and in the team is is really really good. And you know I, I miss it a lot, and I miss I miss the fans, I miss the atmosphere, I miss a lot of the boys. But I'm really hoping, I'm following closely, and 
really hoping that the team can can finish the season really well, and uh, I wish them all the best. And uh, and yeah, hopefully one day I'll, I will be able to come back and visit. Maybe for holidays next summer. <laughs> Maybe yes. Maybe. I know my wife would definitely like that. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you very much, thank and you, all the best uh, for the remaining of the season. Good luck in Belgium. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you for your time.